Nike first started its association with football in 1989 when it signed up to be a kit sponsor for the French club Paris Saint-Germain. Since then, they've gone on to support the world's biggest clubs, Man U, Arsenal, Boca Juniors, Inter Milan, Barca, and of course, Sundowns. Today, we have the opportunity to interact with the players and take them through the product. Uh, we don't get time to do that a lot of times, so the easiest thing is just to give it to them. But I think by interacting, we get to sort of see the expressions, get to understand what their concerns are as well. You know, we take that feedback very important and just to express the innovation and the time that Nike takes into making the product, ensuring that the product is of the highest quality for the players so that they can perform on pitch as well as in training. Always great to get that message across to the players as a partner as to how we support them in the ambitions to be a successful team. Nike supplies the players with all the apparel tools they could possibly need to perform at their peak and a new season means a new and improved kit. I guess it's like being a child, you know, to an extent. Once you get something new, you know, it's the excitement that goes with it. And we're hoping that excitement of the new training kit that the players have received for the season will allow them to take that excitement onto the pitch, come through with the results, come end of the season, celebrating together as partners and hoping that the relationship grows stronger from there. The swoosh was created in 1971 by Carolyn Davidson, a design student. Nowadays, a whole team gets behind kit designs. In terms of what the kit looks like at the end of the day, it is a long process that involves the club at different levels. So it starts off with a brief to say this is what the club is about. So any kit you come with has to have some element of link to the club. Because at the end of the day, the players must identify with it. The clubs must identify with it. And most importantly as well, the supporters need to identify with it. So all interaction at different levels is important for Nike because at the end of the day, the end product that you see in the market needs to have gone through the necessary steps to ensure that once it's in the market, when the players on pitch, they're happy with it, it's true to who they are or the club is about, as well as then the supporters as well can then identify with the club and at the end of the day, consumer decides. So from a Nike perspective, it's important that that interaction takes place at different levels. The Swoosh made its first appearance on a track shoe in 1972. Today, it's one of the world's most recognized brands. It's due to the attention to the function of the product that gave the tick its notoriety. A kit is the weapon, in a way. The tool that is necessary for them to achieve what they have to do. So from a player perspective, training is as equally important as match day. So technology in terms of moisture absorption, you need to be conscious that climates may change, weather on, at different times may change, you know. So at the end of the day, from a Nike perspective, we need to ensure that we cover all the possibilities to a certain extent, whether it be hot, a cool day, when it's raining, when it's very cold, we ensure that players have the necessary product. When they go into a pitch, they're as comfortable as they should be. If you've done well in preparation, the results should come through on match day. So training, as well as what the players get on pitch, is just as equally important. The company takes its name, Nike, from the Greek goddess of victory, and hence the brand's alignment only with successful teams. Nike always wanted to identify itself with the best. We spend a lot of time in terms of innovation, as well as bringing inspiration to everyone, I guess, that associates with the brand. So ultimately, by having a relationship with Mami Lodi Sundowns, allows Nike to bring that to the fore. The club is ambitious, the club is one of the biggest in the country, and I think that relationship and that synergy comes through in the stuff that we do. In essence, you know, the relationship is still quite young in terms of the history of relationships of clubs and sponsors, stroke partners. You grow and you learn as you go along, but ultimately the intentions are to a certain extent the same. Everyone wants success. At the end of the day for Nike, we want to be part of that success and be able to provide any other support to allow the players to succeed.